plenty of them out there have gone for a change of tyres and not run, and that was very close to contact. If you consider this is qualifying. Uh, that's, uh, that would have been a crash if I didn't avoid him there. That was Sainz coming out of the pits, was it then, for, for Piastri? So this is, oh, but Piastri's cruising. So I don't think that's Oscar on a fast lap particularly. I couldn't see a thing in the pedics. Joe Guan Yu makes it past the corner. Where Ward just about makes it past the corner where he dropped it in practice. He very nearly did it again. He's really chasing the grip out there. And he's not the only one. Leclerc is down compared to Ocon's time. Ocon's now in the drop zone. And Leclerc needs to find some pace in the middle part of this lap because he's really, really close to being level now. No one else is really improving. It looks like the track is going away at this stage. So it's Joe versus Leclerc probably to get through. Everyone else is uh, either not improving or has taken the checkered flag. Oh, he's so sideways. He's trying to chase the grip. He's trying to chase the time. But will it be the exit for Charles Leclerc? The Scarlet Ferrari comes across the line and Charles Leclerc does find it. But only by half a tenth of a second. Pressure lap and a great delivery from Charles Leclerc who gets through into the next part of qualifying by the finest of margins. Oh, it looks like it was absolute chaos at the penultimate corner for Lewis Hamilton before the final crucial laps began. Alonso got in the way. I get massive in peeling everywhere, mate. But it's Joe Guan Yu, Esteban Ocon, Kevin Magnussen, Valtteri Bottas, and Liam Lawson on debut who fall at the first stage of qualifying. Let's go on board with the Monogas driver. And we've got Hamilton in the drop zone, then Gasly, the two Ferraris, and Hulkenberg, who's on an outlap. Hamilton only to eight. There's some big guns in, in a bit of trouble. This is really tricky conditions because where you've got the very obvious dry line, it, it just feels like you've got grip. You can position the car and play with uh, the uh, positioning as, 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 uh, you know, as you want. But where we get into the areas where it's completely damp, that is where the drivers are really going to be challenged. There are going to be some upset drivers with big names going out here. Right, Piastri has completed his Q2 session. He's fastest, and he was the driver to first take the flag. Stroll is uh, out there as well. He's finished in eighth. Perez is going over the line again now. He will stay in seventh position. Are we going to see improvements for anyone in the drop zone? Let's find out. Hulkenberg goes over the line, goes to 10th place to demote Logan Sargent. Then it's Sonoda, Norris, Gasly, and Sainz. Has Sainz timed it to perfection, or will he fall out here? Hulkenberg demoted by Sonoda. Verstappen goes over the line with the fastest time. Now it's over to Pierre Gasly, and Gasly gets up to ninth. Hamilton at risk here. Hamilton needs Disappointment for other drivers to be able to make it through. Alonso goes to fourth. Hamilton at risk. And now in the drop zone, thanks to the time from Sainz. Then it's Norris up to seventh. Gasly, Hamilton, Sonoda, and Hulkenberg go out. What can Sargent do with a car that's looked good in his teammates' hands? Can he produce something great? He can! Logan Sargent with a superb time to go into 10th position. And we have an almighty shock. Lewis Hamilton would have been dreaming of a second pole of the season in conditions like this, but it's 13th place and an exit. Williams won two. Williams putting two cars into the final part of qualifying for the first time since Monza 2017. And they're first and second at the moment, even though uh, Sainz has gone into third position. The yellow flag is out for Logan oh. Sargent, though. And Sargent finds the barriers on the slick tyres. The man who made Q3 for the first time in his Formula One career has found the barriers and brought out the red flag. There's the moment for Logan Sargent. Not much runoff area around this circuit, but he is all right. You okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry. George Russell sets the benchmark then. And Russell with a 112.5. Leclerc behind the Mercedes driver. And that is important. Norris ahead of both of them, though. That McLaren is going brilliantly. Can Piastri go ahead of his teammate? No, it's a McLaren 1-2 with two tenths of a second between them. And Verstappen isn't as quick through the first two sectors. So here comes Max now out of the final corner. Perez goes to fifth. Verstappen goes to third. 
Max Verstappen is only third fastest, a McLaren 1-2 with four and a half minutes to go, and it's Fernando Alonso, who's the fastest driver through the first sector of the lap. Here is the two-time world champion chasing his first pole in Formula One since 2012. Yellow flag is out in the middle sector. There's a lot of fast corners. Leclerc, Charles Leclerc has gone off. It's Norris Piastri, Verstappen, Russell, and then the man in fifth who has found the barriers. Just got off line, presumably, and then found no grip out there, certainly not on the grass, and it's actually a big whack. Understeering straight to the barrier. Let's hear from him. You okay? Yeah, I am. Uh, Sorry, guys. Yeah, and as soon as he touched the grass, the car almost accelerated towards the barrier. No level of uh, slowing down. Looking for three in a row at his home event, fighting the car as he goes over the bump. Verstappen trying to match Lando Norris's time through the first sector, through the weaves of six and seven, and he is massively up on the British driver's time. That shows the track is getting better and better. That stoppage just helped to clean the track up a little bit more. Piastri is not as quick as Verstappen. He's three tenths away, but Norris is quicker than Verstappen in the first sector. Norris has an answer. After the first third of a lap, Lando Norris has an answer as he chases his second Formula One pole position. But the middle sector is where the Red Bull has been mighty all weekend long. That's been the strong suit for it. And Verstappen has pumped in another good middle sector. Piastri's not in this. It's Verstappen v Norris from what we can see so far. And Norris has lost a little bit in the middle. Need something mighty at the end, Lando Norris. Max Verstappen to the line, goes over and goes into provisional pole position and the time to beat is a 110.5 to raise a cheer from the grandstand here's Piastri to improve up to second place what can Lando Norris do will it be close as he goes no he's to the front row but he can't get on terms with Max Verstappen and watch out for Albon Albon is going quickly in the Williams he might even fancy a top three here Perez moves to third position Alexander Albon has never been inside the top seven at the end of a form Formula One qualifying session. Alonso now in third. Can Albon do the best he ever has in qualifying? He can with a supreme lap. Chuck out the old PB. It's a mighty lap for third. Sainz puts it in fifth position with a strong result for him. Alonso is in fifth now. Albon is down to fourth because George Russell puts two British drivers in the top three, but no one, no one, no one has an answer to Max Verstappen in Formula One 2023.